hot tamale, hot, hot tamale. Oh wait, I forgot to say Minecraft. This is another episode of Brian taking on Uncharted Territory 2. And last time we finished up Intersection 3, but we're still going to have to fight our way through the end of Titan Falls if we want to find Intersection 4. There might be another base moving montage as well. Let's get started. Welcome back to Uncharted Territory 2. Last time we got the wool out of Null and Void. There were a couple of chests that were relatively near the wool that I think might be easy to get to. And so I'm going to make another run back in here just to see if we can get those two chests. It looked like there were a couple other chests that were going to be much more difficult. Uh, and I'm not going to go after them right now. But I just want to see what was in those chests. And so we'll do a little run together. A spider just fell from the ceiling somewhere apparently. But I think this is mostly lit up that this will be extremely calm travel between here and most of the way there. Let's see, because this is lit up, and this is lit up, and the spawners are taken out over here, and we're all nice and safe over here. Oh, I suppose there might be gas spawners that we may encounter near these chests. Basically, I've gotten all the way over here. Okay, I hear a spider, but I think he's just a natural spawn somewhere. But then there's like a chest over here and over here. And so let's see. We can kind of bridge over there. And I have no idea if there's still any spawners that are going to be in range. Oh, there's gravel. Well, that's cute. Glad I saw it. I don't see any spawners in range right now. And what does that say? Combat gear medium, I believe? I'm not going to have enough blocks. Combat gear medium. Alright, well that is good stuff that I would be happy to have. And it is on a block that's not going to fall, and so let's just do this. Get all that stuff in my inventory. I see a zombie up here. And so let's make sure he doesn't somehow surprise me. Go ahead and run back here real quick. Oh, there's a zombie spawner up here, and a torch is no longer on it. And I see a skeleton over there as well. Let's do this. I am going to put the chest back down over here, just in case I fall out of the world. And dump up all the stuff, and then we'll try to go get that. And I'm going to need some more blocks as well. I do have a pick. And so I will be able to farm some more blocks on my own. Yeah, we'll do that. And let's see, I think I needed... I think I had like 10 blocks over there or something. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I think that should be enough. And so now let's see if we can do the same thing on the other side. There is a zombie here. Does he see me? Let's just, I have enough arrows. Let's just go ahead and take him out. All right, he's dead. And then I wonder if this will be just another combat supplies medium or something else. And oops, I forgot about the skeleton that was there. I can just barely see him. He has been knocked off. All right, and once again, there's gravel here, so we'll be very careful. We'll put that there. We'll let the gravel fall rather than jumping on it. And it looks like, once again, it should be safe over here. Great. Potion's low. All right, so not the greatest gear, but I'm happy to come back for this. And I know it was there. I'm sure some people were curious. And let's see. Yeah, I guess the only other chest that I didn't really get is the one that's way up top that's extremely heavily guarded. And so I think I'm not going to worry about that one. But we will try to shepherd all of these items back safely. And I'll probably make a cut unless all of a sudden I get knocked off and fall out of the world. And we're back safe. Hooray. Okay, at this point, I think I need to go back over to Titan Falls and try to find the next intersection, so I'll meet you guys over there. All right, I'm back over here. Just occurred to me I'm not wearing very good armor. Let me swap that out. But then there's a building right here that hopefully will lead to an intersection or something. All right, I forgot to... I was shuffling inventory around, and I forgot to bring any armor over here. So we'll do this without armor. The sun is rising, so it's early in the day. So we've got sunlight on our side. I'd go ahead and make myself an iron chest plate with some of the iron that I've dug out of there. 
And yeah, I guess let's start lighting up this area over here. There's sand, but it appears to be aesthetic as opposed to hiding a sand trap, although we should be wary. This sword that I've got has sharpness, which will be useful. Oh, there is a spawner. There is still a spawner. It's a skeleton spawner. It is no longer there. Hello, Zombie sneaking up on me. Oh, I don't have the good boulder disc on me right now either. It actually is over in the chest over there. This don't imagine that we'll find too many mobs over here, but if we do, then I can always break out the disc. And I need to make sure that I'm eating and healing because I don't have as much armor as I typically do. And by typically, I mean the last few episodes after we found the iron. Hooray! Iron is the greatest. Although I guess we had some metal armor for a couple of episodes before then. All right, I am healing. I've got a splash potion of instant health that I could use in an emergency. Let's just try to avoid emergencies. Hello, creeper. Do your thing. Help me make sure that there aren't any sand traps. Ooh. He's going to sneak up on me. All right. He will take you out. Aha! All right, and we're getting near the front door over here. Hi, Creeper. Yeah, double tap. Finish him off. All right, let's add a little bit more light over here. Oop. There's more monsters back there than I realized. Oh, it's only three. Help me out, Creeper. There we go. Creeper hopefully doing some damage to these guys. Oops. You know, hitting them with a torch is probably not the most effective combat strategy. Should probably try hitting them with the sword. It's a little bit sharper. It's got sharpness on it. It's also designed for combat. All right, let's do that and that. Oh, that shrub just totally ate it. There was like a dead shrub right there, and then I was like, boom, with a torch. And the dead shrub was like, oh my gosh, I cease to exist. That's totally what happened. I have a bow and arrow that I completely forgot about. Oh, look at that! I managed to actually avoid hitting the zombie for once and hit the intended target of the skeleton. And there is one more creeper over here. You know what I didn't do? Recall that there was the trap where the creepers come out of the surface that I filled in over there. You can just kind of barely see it over there. I didn't look to see if there might be another one. And so let's just be wary of that all of a sudden if we see creepers coming out of the water. I think he was just a natural spawn who wandered in. And, yep! Spawner's in there. Thought there might be. Once again, we've got some sunlight on our side, although it's not quite reaching down here. Every once in a while, I see an undead mob on fire. Whoa! Oh, I'm going to get a record. Maybe. Nope. Apparently, the skeleton was like, you know what? I'm kind of tired of chasing you. Ooh! A zombie dropped a carrot. I've already got carrots at this point, but still kind of exciting. It's a rare drop. Famous drop. And let's add some more light in here. Uh, let's go ahead and take this out. I've got an unbreaking efficiency iron pick. And let's just put a torch up there and then come back down. And continue lighting up the outside. But hopefully we don't have to worry about as many mobs spawning up there. Apparently there was a spider falling from I'm not sure where. So that's always a little bit worrisome because I didn't even see what kind of spider it was. And my keyboard just stuck there for a moment. Uh, so hopefully that will not keep up. Let's try to light up. Okay, these zombies, I guess, just came downstairs. They found their way down the ladder. That's pretty impressive. Those are some very high-tech zombies we've got over here. We know how to work ladders. And who knows what else? And I heard a skeleton. Oh, they're over there. And it looks like there might be more structure behind the waterfall. Oh, here's another creeper. How are so many things still coming out of there when it's lit up? That's worrying to me. Uh, hello, skeleton. Is there another zombie in there? I'm really confused. I thought I lit that whole area up. Maybe there's behind. Maybe there's another doorway in the back that I didn't notice. Could be a lot of things. I often don't notice some of the details of structures until the second or third look. I also apparently don't notice when I haven't eaten in a while sometimes. Let's go ahead and take this creeper out. So we don't have to worry about him. And let's try to get some light over here. Oh, I've got tons of speed potions. I should run over here with the speed potions, is what I should do. 
And, oh, and there's sugarcane, there's reeds growing right here, and so that's handy because that's one thing that I haven't brought forward. I'm assuming we're going to find another intersection over here, and so I've been carting inventory forward to over here in the anticipation of having to cart it further forward once I find the intersection. But let's grab a speed potion and go drinky, drinky, drinky in just a moment after I drop off some other crap. I'll go ahead and get that on the bar over there. All right, and now with the speed two potion and all of my hearts, let's go add a little bit more light around the back of this building or wherever is convenient to light up. Hello, creeper. I am going to run past you. Ha ha. All right. I hear spiders. I see bad guys. I see more bad guys. But we're getting lots of light down. All right, that was good. And then maybe I can go this way as well, although the terrain is more difficult, so I need to be careful. All right. Bad guys, bad guys. Nothing too horrible. All right, got a lot of light in there, so that is super terrific. And, yeah, there's a handful of mobs coming after me, but... Now, I've got a bow! Kabow! Kazam! Kablamo! And other assorted sundry noises of destruction. Eat it! Yeah! Oh, yeah, oh, he got one on me. How sad. All right, I'm already up to level 14. It's amazing, like, when you just go through a new area like this with natural spawns, and I'm not even in, like, great armor. But if you plow through a number of bad guys, you can get some experience pretty quickly, and I haven't even picked up, like, all the experience from all the guys I've killed. All right, it's pretty well lit around the outside of this, and so I think we should try to walk in the front door again. But night is going to be falling, and so I am going to go hop back into bed, because daytime is a good asset. So I'll see you guys in a moment. All right, I found a little bit more metal armor, and I went ahead at the enchanting table and put six levels into this for projectile protection, because I didn't have any bookshelves over here. That was the best I could do. Uh, but yeah, we are ready to try to walk in the front door over here again and start climbing the ladders. So let's do it. Oh, look, more experience and arrows and various monster drops. All right. Light, light, light. There's probably a spawner here. Oh, there's not. All right. Terrific. Um, let's just keep going before we spawn more stuff on the next level. Trap doors. Oh, crap, crap. Whoa. All right, there's a creeper up there. Oh, whoa. <laughs> you are not actually here. Hello, creeper. All right. Um, hmm. We're probably going to take one in the face over here. Crap. Ah. If I just have the cojones to do it. All right. Oh, maybe I can kill him off. Hold on. Dip, 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 dip. All right. I need to climb the ladder. There we go. Yeah. And I managed to not look at the Enderman, too. I'm a genius. Look at me go. All right. Let's get a foothold of light in here and see who all we got to work with. Uh, I did look. Okay. Oh, dear. Oh, boy. All right, the creeper fell down, so I need to be aware of the fact that there's probably a creeper on the lower level now. Need to look at the legs of the skeleton, so I'm not looking at the Enderman. Let's go ahead and grab a speed potion so that we can exit if we need to. And in fact, I'm also going to do that. That'll get some sun... All right, hello. Get some sunlight in here. All right, but let's go and run, 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 run. Whoa! Get that... Ugh. All right. Oh, dear. Hello. 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 Regen. Run, 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 run. All right. It's probably a creeper down here. There is. Of course, the arrows bounce off of him. All right. Regen is working. That's good. All right. That was, that was reasonably successful. I do not mind backing off from that for just a moment. Um, but I did a good job using potions there in order to stay alive. Uh, I'm very happy about that. And, yeah, I'm going to rest my heart for just a second, and then we'll keep going. All right, I haven't traveled very far, and so it's likely that there's still a number of the mobs up there who were up there previously. Some of them may have despawned. And I also don't have a great sense. Anybody up here? Guess not. Let's go ahead and take out the spawner. 
Just to not have to worry about it. Okay, and so there's a bunch of holes. It does look like I can still walk up there. Might just take out the trap door because I think it's probably just going to kind of get in my way. Oops, that was the ladder. That was not what I intended to do. Our trap door is slow to break. I'm, I'm probably using the wrong tool. I should probably be using like an axe or something. All right. Oh, I hear a fast skeleton. I think. All right, let's take a peek up here. Oh, it's not bad. Oops. All right. Let's go ahead and fill that in because I think I'm likely to fall down there as well. And yeah, let's take a little peek around. There's more Enderman. Let's add some light over here. Oop. Is he above me? Oh, there he is. Okay. Ouch. Oh, crap! Didn't see him. And I think, possibly, the arrow bounced off the creeper as he was in his death throes there. That was pretty cool, actually. Um, Alright, that wasn't actually a hole. There's a balcony I could follow off over here, but we are doing good. We're doing good. Let's add some more light in here. Alright, we got some, like, turdy kind of buildings over here. I'm gonna go ahead... I imagine there's gonna be more creeper explosions and different things that are going to bust out some torches. Okay, so there's another thing inside here. Oh, and there's a spawner. Okay, let's... Oh, hello. Actually, you can do me a favor. Go ahead and blow up. There we go. It's a nice little opening into this room. There's the creeper spawner. Great. And I can't fall in there, so that's good. Oh, it's going to be another quick travel aban abandoned monument. Okay, interesting. Quick travel back to the abandoned monument? Is that it? Is it like a one-way uh, travel back to the victory monument? If I'm reading that correctly, I should... Let's let's clear out this area first to make sure that we're safe before we start trying to reason about new technologies heretofore unseen. Um, and let's also see who's up here. There's a skeleton. And right now he's the only one I hear. Oh, and a skeleton spawner. That's not so bad. We can take that out. And another ladder that goes even higher. So let's check this out. Don't hear anybody up here. We've got torches up here. There's a chest that has projectile protection. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll grab all this stuff. Uh, I'll actually grab the chest as well. I'll need a number of chests when I try to establish myself at a future intersection, one would imagine. Um, and then, since I don't actually need to come back up here for any reason, um, does a pick work well in ladders? Yes, it does. Let's go ahead and grab these ladders. Because ladders are super useful. Right, Etho? Right. Okay. And was there a chest in here as well? Yes, there was. And so let's go ahead and take you out. Check out this chest. Coal and a minecart. All right. That makes me think that there's going to be a minecart system around here somewhere. All right. Quick travel abandoned monument. Okay, and then there's a hallway over here. So I don't want to warp back right now. I presume that's what's going to happen if I press that button. And so instead, we'll check out this hallway. Let's go ahead and eat some food. Just in case all of a sudden there's a trap that starts blowing up on us. or Because once again, there was quick travel. Yeah, the last time we had a long hallway next to quick travel, all of a sudden, blocks in the walls just disappeared. Whoa. Oh, it is an intersection. Okay, great. So we found intersection, presumably, number four. It's got lava at the button, bottom, and I'm not carrying a water bucket, and so that's no good. There's lava up here as well, and so if creepers do explode, I might have just seen a spawner. It also might have been a graphical glitch. All right, I guess it was just a graphical glitch, or I'm just on high alert at this point. Um... All right, intersections themselves tend not to be militarized. And so other than potential some natural spawns at the edges. Yeah, before I read any of these signs, let's add some light and try to make sure that the intersection itself is a little bit more secure. And let's also be careful not to fall in the lava because I happen not to be carrying a fire resist potion right now. And so falling in the lava would be bad. And 
All right, but it seems like there's probably places up there that mobs could spawn and then fall on me, and so I do need to be careful. All right, but for the moment, I seem safe enough. So, intersection 04, we came from Titan Falls. Null and Void, Revenge of the Void. I really enjoyed the first Null and Void, and so that's going to be cool. Sands of Despair. Sounds like, I don't know what, a desert. And The Quiet. That sounds fascinating as well. And I can't see more stuff kind of higher up on the ceiling. I guess I will go ahead and, since I have a chest, just drop off a little bit of the inventory that I have over here. Um, but of course the plan is to come back and set up a forward base over here. And I wonder what the minecart, I wonder if there's going to be a minecart, whatever you call it, somewhere. I guess I'll hold on to this for now to make sure I stay alive. Yeah, I'll just hold on to all this. All right, I will probably make a cut. Um, actually, we go back to the quick travel thing. I'm really concerned about this hallway. I'm going to run through it again and listen. Oh, I don't hear any creeper spawners or anything. Although last time it happened after I pressed the button. Oh, oh it's a vine. I saw the back of the vine, and I thought there was a creeper around the corner. Um, oh, and it's gotten dark around here. Well, that's okay, because now all of a sudden I'm going to do a warp zone back, it seems like. I wonder if it'll bring us somewhere in the monument that will then have, like, a hidden area of the monument that will then teleport us back to this block. I bet you that's what it is. Let's find out. All right, quick travel, abandoned monument. Kazoom! Warping to monument. At least one person... We'll warp in without one of these. A pick. Haha. -ha. All right. Dig. Quick travel to Titan Falls. Yep. And so I warp back here. And yep, I'm right back here exactly where I thought I was going to be. Okay, that's actually really cool. Um, I actually have a list of ideas for maps. And one of them was about fast travel. But with the new command box, uh, map makers can do awesome stuff like that. And so that is much appreciated. Let's warp back to the monument. And let's dig through the little diggy sign. And see where it takes us. I am digging in the right direction, right? Pretty sure this is where the sign said to dig. I'll dig through three more blocks. And then if we don't find... Aha! Where are we? We're above the coal. Okay, great. This is super cool. Sadly, I did not make my base in the monument. I made my base at intersection three. And so I still have to... Well, I guess I've got a rail cart system that actually goes between here and right over there. I could bring the rail cart, like, right into here, probably. Yeah, all right, but I think it's going to be time for another base-moving montage. I'll probably do something different this time. We'll see what suits my fancy. I did some investigating and digging, and it turns out that the quick travel, if I just dig through here and go down a tiny bit, I end up do -do 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 at the end of the pre-existing rail line. And so I can easily divert the rail line and then just use rails to quickly get all of my stuff from intersection 3 over to the quick travel. And so I think I'm going to do that. The sounds are freaking out for some reason, but it sounds kind of cool, actually. There we go. Now they're back to normal. That was close. But now this is much safer. All right, let's deal with this. And over here. And I guess I should just go down there and put it all out. I found a bonus down at the bottom after I put the water down. 
It is. Oh, Lacerator level 4. Very cool. I also hear skeletons. Presumably they're from one of the areas that apparently is going to go down. I'm hoping, maybe. Let's see. Lacerator level 4. Sharpness 4. Knockback 2. Fire Aspect 2. Unbreaking 2. Looting 2. That is super useful. All right. Great. You may be saying to yourself, Brian, you only have 18 ladders. How are you ever going to get back up? But don't think that I didn't think of that. All right. I confess. I didn't think of it. However, I do know the water bucket technique for climbing a nice vertical wall. And so that is how I'll get back up. How do you like them apples? Take that map. Trying to trap me down at the bottom of the lava area? I don't think so. Yes. Haha. -ha. Projectile protection four. I'll take it. fun. Do, 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 do. Potato, potato. 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 Woohoo! Well, here it is. We got potions out the wing wang with lots of potion making ingredients. We've got the bed, we've got a furnace and a crafting table, we've got blocks and miscellaneous items, we've got all kinds of armament over here, we've got all kinds of swords and picks and whatnot over here, some other miscellaneous items over here, and that one's still empty, I need to make that a recovery chest. And then over here, do 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 do, we have the enchanting station, we have a little mini farm, so I think we are ready to go to tackle Intersection 4. I wonder which of these areas I should take a look at first. Nolan Void, The Revenge, Sands of Despair, and The Quiet. Which area will I tackle first? Find out next time. Have a great day.